Okay, this video is what is optimal health? And where this comes from is a couple things. Uh, first of all, is what do most people think optimal health is? You know, most of the nutrition experts come from internal medicine. I mean, there's a lot of them come from other backgrounds, but that's probably the most common one. And what I'm trying to say is to an internal medicine doctor, usually the ultimate in health, the holy grail of health is to have open coronary arteries, you know, clean arteries in your heart. And that's great. And they'll tell you, oh, what's good for the heart is good for the brain and everything else. And yeah, that's true. That's fine. But the brain's a lot more fussy. There's a lot of toxins that no one cares about in, with regard to the heart, but they're a big deal for the brain. So I would say you have to learn more if you want to optimize cognitive function for the brain. In addition, other types of health that people care about, young guys want to be strong. So optimal physical health for them would be strength. Strength can be a little different. Like if you take anabolic steroids, you'll get strang stronger in the short run, but there's a lot of potential side effects and problems with those, so I would never take those. Um, the, only, the only way I would take those is if there were some special, unique circumstance. I don't think routinely, I think they're a real bad idea. Um, but they do make a person bigger and stronger. Uh, optimal endurance, like if you do just want to have better endurance, everybody should want that. That's a good thing. That's good health. Optimal physical beauty. You basically look better when you eat a low-fat vegan diet because you get better perfusion of your face. Your face looks more alive. When you look at these old, sick people, they look half dead. They're real pale and fragile looking. They look like they're almost half a corpse, okay, uh, versus, you know, somebody who's got energy and vitality and curiosity and, um, you know, they got good, and like a young person who's real healthy, they got good perfusion. Look at all these athletes, like in the Olympics or other top-notch competitions, these young athletes. They got really sort of a vitality look about them. Good blood supply to their face. All right, so anyways, um, what else? Optimal longevity. So one form of good health is that you live longer, healthy aging. So then the next question is, well, how could we get all of the above? And you can pretty much get all of these um, to a large extent. Certain things for physical strength about being a bodybuilder, I don't want to go into that because I think the the negatives outweigh the positive. Like if you're taking protein powders, you increase your risk of kidney failure. Uh, there's also side effect dangers if you're taking any of those things. So I don't recommend taking anything to increase strength. Just eating your regular plant foods and you'll be pretty strong. Um, so we're, our goal of this is not to be a bodybuilder, okay, or a power lifter. I think that there's things a person can do along those lines, but I think they're not uh, beneficial for overall health. But I, I mainly wanted to make the point that there's more to optimal health than just having clean coronaries. There's other things that will improve, you know, these other things. All right, so uh, this picture here is a scene from the, the movie Amadeus, which is an awesome movie. Mozart was talking to the emperor, and he's trying to explain a scene from The Marriage of Figaro where he has polyphony with multiple voices singing, and how long could he hold it for? You know, and he actually said, you know, the husband comes in, the wife comes in, the maid comes in, the butler comes in. They're all singing together, and it works. And you could, you could, you could dial it up, amplify it up. And that's kind of what I meant here about amplifying up the standard of optimal health, because. For all intents and purposes, what most people are talking about is just having open coronary arteries and not having cancer. But there's a lot more to it, and especially that big step of optimizing cognitive performance for the brain. And I think if you do that, you'll, you'll get a better overall health. So anyways, I thought that was a little bit interesting. hope that was interesting for